Weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. I'm gonna need info on her. I'm doing some blackmailing. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price, get your ass in here. <laughs> Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that one? Ah! Jeez! Yeah. Jeez, man. Get Warn my notebook, me next Price. Time. Then we'll talk. <sighs> Crazy driver. No, I'm fetching things for her. Dude, I heard you got expelled. Bad news. You mean good news. I'm stoked. Word. I'm home too. I finally got busted yesterday for smelling like weed. My mom's making me go to her book group. Oh, man. Frank, how low can I go? A betting slip. Twelve hundred dollars? Way out of my league. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? Fight the power. People leave their info when they damage someone's car? <laughs> I bumped into your RV and I was gonna leave my info, but then I saw you coming and got creeped out. Sorry. What the hell? Ugh. Ew. Gross. Clean that shit up, dude. Wait. Frank got a puppy. <gasps> puppy. For real? Puppies have accidents when they are scared. You have to stop scolding your puppy. Wait, hi there. My dog is three months old and he's still peeing everywhere. What do I do? Thanks. Thanks, but I don't scold him. Then why is he ha she having accidents? Raising a puppy requires patience. If you cannot control yourself, please look deeply and honestly at whether you're really able to have a dog. What's your fucking problem, lady? I said I don't scold him. Well, there's no need to swear. I think it's pretty clear now that you do scold her and worse. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Dreams about clouds, meaning... What age will dog eat steak? Piss head music. Mila Kunis single. Cloud formation, screensaver, property insurance, fire illegal, Arcadia base, forest watch, Megan Fox single, how large was biggest cloud in history, won't, why won't puppy eat steak? Shit. The mill burned down. Frank, I went back to the mill, shouldn't have, I'm fucking furious, everything's burned, total massacre, can't stop thinking about it, dogs didn't make it, that's 10k gone just like that, plus the stud fees we had coming, Arf and that whole crew are gonna be pissed, how am I supposed to come back with the, from this with my fucking reputation intact? Can't think straight on this. Can't think straight on this shit right now. I just want to find someone who started the fire and burned his fucking face. Jeez, that's an expensive dog. Frank, you like the dog? I thought you would. The dog's special, man. Callie's buyer wanted him, and I said, "Fuck off, keep your 3K. I'm saving him for my buddy Frank. I mean it. Everything you've done for me adds up way more than the 3K. Don't thank me. This is from me to you. Don't let me breed him later." Okay. 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 Cereal. Let me look at the cereal. Part of a balanced breakfast. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Oh! Damn. Dang, he knew. <laughs> he was on to me. Alright, what else we got here? Ooh, anything to eat? Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. A lot of steak. What's she gonna do with that dog? Bomb sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pay with his drive through Worker home. Got it. Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? Ah. Not bad. Whoa, whoa, puppy. 
Oh, let me hey pet there. you. It's okay, little guy. Oh shit! Pompadou, get up here! Ah! Uh... Pompadou. You little killer. He's so cute. Oh my god. Uh, in my YouTube playthrough, I, I saved Pompadou from death. But then I did a bad playthrough when I was streaming where I just chose all the horrible options and he died and it was so sad. Because uh. Frank finally gave up on the steak. Mmm, delicious. A throne fit for... Frank. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. You know what, Chloe? I didn't like your tone when you were judging his throne lawn chair. Look at your truck. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. A yoink? Is this what I think it is? Ah, shit. I'm in the red. Time to find out what Frank wants. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. All right, Frank. Where's Pompadou? Oh, he's a Frank. That dog makes Frank look almost nice. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. <laughs> okay, but he's not a poodle, Frank. No, he's not. But I'm gonna treat him like one. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Why is that one underlined? Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Blackmail. Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? Deal! You, you got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. She showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. I shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me whatever that was like barely juicy down? gossip yeah I uh, heard some stuff about it we need the details crazy my friend Damon runs the place he lost a lot of money last night money from what well he's always had a few things going on I help him out with some of them oh so you're gonna tell, tell us all about your fucking details, partner right? uh Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like, but I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Protect some random. Anyway, 
You and I have shit to discuss. Talk about your friend. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. Nah, no, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, <laughs> you still owe me. I don't know you anymore then. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Hey! Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, R Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Man, I think we can still get more money blackmailing her dad, though. Or Rachel's dad. I didn't think I'd be back this soon. I'm back! You thought you expelled me? You were wrong. Well, here goes nothing. Chill day? What is that? Oh, wet concrete. Okay. Better it's hurry up and get into the door. Back at school yet again? They've got some tents. Up for dressing rooms. What are you up to? I'm here, too, actually. Running an errand for my dealer. Oh, really? So bad. Come see me when you're done. Yeah, for sure. P.S. I saw that woman that your dad was with coming out of my dealer's RV. What? Apparently she's causing trouble for a lot of people or something. Her name's Sarah. Rachel? I think maybe I prefer not knowing her name. Oh, my bad. No, it's fine. See you soon. What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. <laughs> Just gonna casually sit here. So dramatic. Poor Chloe, what will she do with her life? It doesn't feel different. I don't belong here anymore. It's not my school. I, uh, I don't have a school. But nothing feels different. Everything still feels... shitty. And here I am, about to break into the freaking dorm so I can steal money that Drew owes my drug dealer. This is gonna go great. Of course it will. Of course, all right. Is that it? I think it is. All right, what's up? How are you doing? Now that I'm gone, 
Steph might be the coolest person left at Blackwell. Besides Rachel, obviously. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Barb. The elf barbarian. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kinda hoping it's a shit show. I mean, obviously I'm going to see Rachel, what the hell? idiot. I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. Obviously, Rachel's fantastic, but everyone else is pretty impressive, too. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Back off! Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... Confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. So back off. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Alright. What else is going on? What's over here? What are you up to? Okay. Puppy. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. <laughs> Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since... Never. There's Evan. Putting his pretentious art above his sanity. As usual. In a way, that's kind of badass. Come on. What are you doing here? Whoa! Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Judgmental Dude, douche! Why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? You know nothing about me, Evan. Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks really ridiculous. Mocked. Hey, uh. Evan, as intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You should have signed my petition. Oh my god, that's why you're so <laughs> hurt. It's not like anyone else did. Did you really expect people to care? People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? Oh yeah, it's because of your petition. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. 
but you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. <gasps> get me away from him. Get me away from him. Oh my god, get me out. Oh, what's in here? Can we turn on the sprinkler? Oh, Samuel, hey. Samuel. Blackwell's a resident creepy groundskeeper. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. True. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? I'm, uh, <laughs> looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. I don't like new Samuel. I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be Stop that, too. No one is just one thing. So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. What do I want to keep hidden? I mean, he kind of came at you already, but... What do I want people to see? Someone strong and fierce who does what she wants and doesn't care what others think. I don't care what others think. Of course you do. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. Okay. I like the old voice, voice actor better. Um, yo, I'm gonna, like, creep in here, though. Nice work, Samuel. That's hot. Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. Alright, so we'd have to do something to make Samuel go from it. I'm not tagging up the school anymore. I have enough issues. Although, it's it actually is part of the game, so I really should do it. But I might go back and do it. I mean, is there an easy way to do this? If it's, like, right in here, and I can turn. Oh. Huh. <laughs> That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. All right, I'm going. I'm gone. Let's get Drew and get this over with so we can see the play. Locked. <laughs> Figures. Can that girl let me in, my friend? Looks Yo, like my options Steph. are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Yo, can you let me in? How about that? I'll see you at the Tempest, right? Can she just let me in? Does this need to be more difficult? Like she's not gonna get in trouble. No one will Why, know. yes. Chloe, of course you may look through that. Steph's really good at creating fantasy worlds. I can see why Mikey prefers them to his reality. Dang, don't come for Mikey like that. Wow. 
wholesome. Just... Ugh. Here's a stick. Here's some wet cement. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Look what I did. Oh, apparently you can only walk on it once though. Welcome to hell. Chloe really is such a little shit. Like, she thinks she's getting back at the school. Meanwhile, it's poor Samuel who has to fix all of her graffiti and shit. Like, come on, Chloe. Can I have your key? You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Oh, shut up, please. Oh, my God. Samuel. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Yes. Sorry, Evan. Need to mess with this. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. Go away, Evan. All right, we have some more bird seed over here. So if we make that bird go somewhere else, he's gonna leave. Or we could just step on the bird. Hey! Look, if you you Shit. were there ten years, I wanted you to go the other way. You had your time Look, as far as possible the other way. Bird, ah. <laughs> fight me, Evan! Fucking fight me! Time for a fresh start. Stupid bird. Get there. Here we go. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. Yeah, go over there. You're welcome. I like how he just ignored that we were doing that. All right. Nothing to see here. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> That works. But if he was going to do that anyways. Maybe it wasn't. Poor Samuel, just fixing all of Chloe's. Destruction of the school. Now she's going to steal his keys. I sound like Evan now. Sorry, Samuel. All right. Time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. And we can get in Drew's room. That's actually a useful... Key. Oh. Set of keys. Oh, fuck me. Chloe? Nothing to see here. <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get expelled? Mmm. Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't. I, I really can't just let you go in. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. 
I actually should have done all the other options because I think it just defaults to making you do that one anyways, so you get to see like the reactions. Oh my bad. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. Don't give me that line. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. Yes, manipulate him. Manipulate his feeble mind. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. If you keep violating students' personal rights, you're going to get fired. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? Patrol someone else, somewhere else! You know Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a, a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I, I thought we were friends too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Chloe. Look, look, look. I'm so confused right now. Look the other just way. Just look the other way, Skip. It's not like I'm up to anything criminal. I just need to use the bathroom. Even though I said I was seeing someone, but... I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that, uh, descriptive I will enough? bleed on you. I don't want to know about... En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthew. <laughs> I'm here. I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. That guy's cool. I wonder why he gets fired. Frank, wait. Frank, what do you want? Oh, wait. Elliot has been hitting us up, too. Hey, don't worry about being expelled. Okay, dude, I'm fine. Why? <laughs> Why is? <laughs> Why are you texting me? Oh, okay, I think it's like a, an alert. We got some alerts. Steph. All right, all right, plain view. Where are you, Frank? There you are. Um, that's really old. Is it an email? But they said Frank messaged me, right? It's there. Oh, okay. Here it is. It just didn't load. That was weird. All right. Have you found it yet? It's been like five minutes. It's been 20. Okay. Okay. I'm on it. Hurry up. Yeah, it has been 20. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Oh, just leave that there. Why don't you? I guess then you blame it on Samuel. <gasps> Samuel. All right, which one is Drew's room? <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Just creep on in everyone's room. Wait, why didn't we bring the keys with us? Couldn't we open everyone's rooms? All right, I guess I'll just snoop. Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. Why does that make me sad? It's been so long since Elliot and I actually went to a concert together. Elliot's mom seems nice. 
Hey, sweetheart, I just got a letter about your scholarship and I couldn't be prouder. I've been showing it to the whole family. Your grandmother just said, of course he did. He's my grandson. Also, your father called again about July 4th. I told him it was too early to decide that you're focused on school right now anyway. But if you want to spend some time with him this summer, of course I'll support you. Don't break too many hearts over there. Smiley. Mom. Oh, mom. Lucky Dana. Yo, Ellie, you got English with Dana Ward, right? What's she like? I think she's hot. Say something cool about me to her, but not like I told you to do it. Thanks, bro. From Logan. <sighs> Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> God, Warren, you're so wrong. Oh, they're talking worst movies ever. You're so wrong. I'll grant you, Ed Wood made some awful movies, but so many more awesomely terrible movies came out right at, uh, after Plan 9 from Outer Space. It's called The Worst Movie Ever Made, but have you seen Night of the Lepus? That's a bunch of space zombies compared to giant carnivorous rabbits. Huh. Okay. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. Wow, oh, dang, he's been Googling me. Uh, <gasps> Any money? <laughs> no, I'm just... Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. Who is Journal Reed? That's not half bad. When she left the room, it was electric flesh, wings taut with agony. Okay. I see her in the brick and mortar, in the fresh cut grass, eyes flashing bright like coins. The ferryman can't have her, I say, but the dark gods laugh. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? See you, Chloe. That moment when the sun is almost there, the sea so welcoming and warm, when pooled light smooths the nodding waves, when shapeless, cold infinity conforms to one stark plane. For a moment, only all is possible. I'll say yes. My heart says yes. Her eyes say yes. Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. They see her, but don't see her. How is that so when all the world is negative and dark and she cries out a screaming rocket trailing fire? Wait. Are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? You are about to die. Oh my God, a warning. It was a warning. He warned us. How childish she is. So lovely and how cruel. And her black knife spilling words and dripping ink. Okay. That's just great. All right. I'm going to put this. Let me see my way out. What did he get? I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Nice. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. I'm out of here. All right, what's this? I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but I think it'd be just as awesome over the counter. <gasps> Break a leg tonight. Oh. All right, it's not really letting us go into other things. Trevor, Justin. All right, here we go. Yep. Uh, definitely Drew's room. Oh, no one home. What's his room looking like? Pretty big. Lucky. Good. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? All right, let's snoop. Bet the dinner choices are steak or steak. <laughs> Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? It's my no great pleasure to award you a football. To award you a full athletic scholarship. A nice at OSU. All right. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Congratulations. In light of your incredible achievements as a high school football player and student, I am pleased to extend an official scholarship offer to you. All right. Same thing. What's this? Thank you so much for your consideration. Frank right. wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. Hey, bro, do you think 
Do you have any more happy pills? I'm beat as hell. You saw me take that hit for you last night, right? No one gets in my boy's grill on my watch, but hook me up, will you? Something just to take the edge off is all I need. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Drew, what an amazing game, son. Couldn't believe the third quarter conversion. You've got moves, no doubt. I spent the day at the library again. Computers aren't my thing, you know that. But I'm trying to learn. There's remedial skills class Mikey made me promise to take, so I'm going to do that next. See about learning how to type worth a damn. Never had to type on a fishing boat. Taking me forever to finish this email. All right, cool. That's wholesome. Athletic form. Too bad I lost my release form. I was really looking forward to running all those sweaty laps. <laughs> We might have failed to- Bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. Huh. <laughs> awesome. Ooh. Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Looks like okay. Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. Alright, done all that. <laughs> they look so happy. Ah. Oh, man. Looks like Drew's dad is having a hard time. Alright, shelter for the homeless. <sighs> is the money in there? Probably. Alright. Guess I have to crack a four-digit code. All right, I better actually look. All right, we I just saw a lot around here. Um, I don't think I miss. Oh, looky there. Looky, looky. Maybe on his calendar. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? 12-12? I mean, I guess... That must be it, since she said it. Okay, 12. That's easy to input. Damn it. <gasps> Wrong numbers. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Should mention it on anything else. All right, let me just go through and look at everything, I guess. Holy shit, no. Drew. I did that, though. A college scholarship? I didn't do this one. No wonder you're so into Look at that. More numbers. Oh, I didn't do that one. Oh, wait. 11.20. Let's try that. Damn it. Wrong right, numbers. So maybe 20.36. <sighs> Might actually need some help with this one. Okay. Random question. I don't know. Probably Mikey. What's the most important thing to do? Okay, Mikey. Cool. Totally unrelated. What's Mikey's B-Day? All right, 1227. I'm probably throwing a party. I'll send you details. Thanks. All right, great. 1227. Uh, worth a shot. Yes. This is kind of fun. Ah. Mm. Did little Drew beat you up too? Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. What if he was gonna give that to his homeless dad, though? Oh my god. Well, we got we had something to do. It clears our debt. We good. Whatever. Okay. Can't have feelings. Got the money. Time to bust out of here. Ah! Hey, Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? Uh, I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so... Why? Bro, we gotta go. What are you doing here? Run! <laughs> Run! Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Drew, relax. Oh, this is going to make Slow me feel down. guilty, isn't it? Shit. You're making me think you're nervous? 
curious about something. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Where is it? Please! Just give me one week. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <laughs> Sorry to have to do this, kid. No <laughs> one steals from me. <laughs> no one. Fuck. Fuck. Dang. Uh, give Damon the money. Stay with Mikey. Oh, I should do the right thing. Uh, but Damon's really going to have to get us a grand right quick. Uh, all right, I'll do it. Stop! It's okay. I, I, I've got your money. Ah, I didn't realize we had an audience. Hey, Mikey. Okay. Who the hell are you? None of your business! Frank sent me. To collect. That's what... Frank was going on about? Wait. Are you the bitch who tuned up Sheldon? That guy at the mill? He, he was an asshole. He kept harassing me. He needed to get the message. Frank was right about you. Let's see the cash. We need that! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that's sad, sorry. Just smack came out of nowhere. It's all here. Mikey, you need to help your big brother. Help him understand that I take this shit seriously. Come on! Mikey's got nothing to do with this, man! You help your brother understand that if he steals from me again, I'm coming back here and I'm going to break his knees. <gasps> no. Thanks, kid. Tell Frank I owe him one. <sighs> we needed that money. You just screwed us over. Are you crazy? That guy could have killed you. You don't know anything about this situation. It's none of your business. <sighs> I was only here because Frank offered to pay me to pick up the money you owed. I didn't know it was this serious. Next time, I'd appreciate it if you just came and talked to me. I tried, you weren't there. The situation is complicated, and I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, Mikey, uh, I got to look at your arm. Uh, just leave us alone. Uh, look... Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't get our dad off the streets, does it? That dude was gonna fucking beat you. <laughs> you don't want to get injured we'll with your scholarship, okay. dude. 